Good morning, gamers. Got the Stray Kids t-shirt on. You got Stray Kids in the background and a missing poster that fell off in the middle of the night the other night. You know what that means. It's a K-pop related video today. So I haven't been on this channel in quite a while, um, just because I haven't really had anything that I wanted to make. So I just haven't had the energy to, to try to force myself to make content for you guys. Cause that's, I feel like that's not fair. I feel like, um, I feel like you guys deserve better than just half-ass content. So I kind of took a break, <laughs> but we're back. Um, so like I said, it's a K-pop video today. Um, I want to start a new series on this channel where I react to different K-pop choreo cause um, I am a trained dancer. So I thought it would be fun to like watch these from more of like a critical standpoint um, cause it will help me. And I feel like it'd also be a fun series to do. And it also gets me to learn new songs every week or so. Cause I'm probably gonna be posting these um, like once a week, but you know, I'm excited. Um, so the layout of what these videos, the series is gonna be is basically, hold on. Um, basically gonna watch the video. I have it pulled up on my um, computer. We're gonna watch the dance video. I'm gonna pause throughout it, talk about, like talk about certain things. And at the end, I'm gonna give like my general like feelings and opinions on um the dance and then at the very end after i'm done all of my like blah, 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 i'm gonna put a clip in of me doing the dance probably no more than a minute of the chorus just because you know that takes away from what my my actual like dance group does where we post covers on our instagram um and also just like, I don't wanna get copyrighted for using the entirety of a song. That, and some of these are like hard and it's gonna take multiple, multiple hours to learn it. So I don't wanna like learn a whole song just for a YouTube video. Um, but I will also like, I'll put the video of me doing like the dance in and I'll like put like in the bottom, like how much time it like took me to learn that, like the section that I'm performing. Some of them I'm gonna have to remember because like, um, I know one of the songs that got suggested on Instagram, thank you all of you on Instagram who suggested stuff, was On by BTS. And I learned that um, like two months ago for my canceled variety show for my high school, like my high school graduation basically. Um, so I had to try to remember how long it took me to learn the chorus. Cause I think it took like, three or four hours to learn the whole thing. It wasn't clean, but it was good enough for the variety show. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get, let's get into it. All right. Already right off the bat, the starting pose is like, it's really dynamic because you have the members and filling up all sorts of um, space. There's not a lot of empty space in the formation, which is, which is a good thing. You always want to feel that negative space when you're dancing, um, especially as a group. So that's already a... Also, is that supposed to be like a somewhat hint to the, to the logo? The... I'm not a, I'm not a theorist K-pop fan, so I wouldn't brain cells to, to, to but let me know in the comments if you think that that's what that's supposed to be or if i'm just crazy okay that was a lot of dynamic work that was i'm gonna try to like be critical of this because like i am like analyzing like the dance but like stray kids they have a dance line, but all of them are like main dancer material, which is like something that not a lot of K-pop groups have. Not to say that like K-pop groups can't dance together, 
Um, and obviously groups that have been around longer are better at dancing together than groups that, you know, just debuted. But they're really cohesive dancers together. And I feel like they all get pretty much fair um, dance distribution. I know line distribution is an issue with a lot of groups. So I feel like dance-wise, they, like, dance pretty evenly, um, which obviously is an issue in other groups. <clears throat> Jin being cut out of the entire on dance break. Moving on. Sharp. Sharp movements. Good thing for hip hop, not good thing for lyrical. So that's and they did it all at the same time. The only time I've ever seen another group do something so cohesive is especially such like a complicated like section was Luna when they did Butterfly, which I'll probably also talk about later on, but just the like cohesiveness of that like movement together was chef's kiss. I'm funny. <laughs> Laugh at my jokes, please. <laughs> no one realized that 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 um high five was in there. <laughs> Until now, I keep seeing things on TikTok popping up. They're like, oh my god, they have five. I'm like, yeah. They... But it's a cute little detail that you don't notice when you first watch it. Um, but I think it's cute. I think it's really cute. This is my favorite part. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be geeking for a hot second. The sharpness of the movements, the way they went from three to the rest, it, like, and the sass. It's not as obvious in the, the dance practice video that they're being, like, sassy, obviously, because they're focusing on, like, the dance part. Um, but y'all seen the Hyunjin fan cams, y'all seen the Jisung fan cams. Sis has some attitude, and it works so well, and... I'm glad that they're incorporating more, like, trendy dances into their stuff. Like, they're putting a lot of woes in there. It's probably Felix. It was probably Felix. He's like, What two pop dance can I add to the dance this time? It's just, like, a little... And then, like, for the stays that can't dance, like, that's, like, the one part of the dance I know is just... <laughs> Yes! The smoothness of these movements in both times that they do it, especially what's about to happen on the floor, it's incredible. They took elements of a more, like, lyrical, contemporary style to put it into their hip-hop to make it smooth, because hip-hop's all about being sharp. Lyrical and contemporary and ballet, it's all about being smooth and elegant and soft. So they, they kind of added that in, in this part, which is really nice because it makes it, like, it changes the levels of the dance, like, so that, you know, it's not all, like, high choreography, like, there's, there's some lows, too, and it balances out pretty nicely. That is my favorite part, and I'm going to kill my knees trying to do that when I learn the full song at some point. <laughs> My favorite part about this is that I follow Hyunjin's part and he literally just stands in the back for that. <laughs> he just stands there, he's like... But it's it's a really, it's really cool. Um, it's I, it's the same, I have the same feelings about it as I do about the, the more and more choreography where they like fan out into the V, except they're V'ing from the back. Like they're V'ing like this, whereas in more and more twice is V'ing like from the point at the front. So they're V'ing from the back. And then have an extra center point at the front. So it's more of like, it's not a diamond because they're not forming a diamond shape. But like, I mean, I guess you could say it's a like a triangle. Because you've got the, the, the V, but then you've got another. That makes sense. <laughs> His 
hat started falling off. That is the exact moment where Hyunjin's hat started coming off. <laughs> so smooth it's like so smooth and i do really like that they do mimic the frying pan that is it the is a little funky fresh part that they put in there because it is called, the song is called god's menu um but just the going from the the hard hitting strong to the more like smooth and elegant not like elegant elegant but like it's more soft like, it's a really good combination. The The highs and lows of this choreography are very, very good together. And the chorus, while it's still kind of hard, it's one of the more easier ones, I feel like. Maybe just because, like, it's so memorable that people, like, remember it, even if they have their body hasn't started learning it yet. They're like... Like they, they they can do it because they remember it in their head, even though they 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 haven't started learning the choreography yet. Um, because I know I didn't know a good chunk of the chorus. I haven't even like I've watched like them perform it. I've watched the mirrored version like once, but I haven't. Other than that, I haven't really done anything. So it's like, but I know like a good chunk. I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm actually gonna take the time to like learn it later today and then film it and put it in. But it's. That. <laughs> Just that. That's all I have to say. They're spiders now. Spider kids. No, but that takes an insane amount of flexibility to be able to do that. And the fact that all of them are doing it pretty well is telling. I don't mean that in a nasty way. You gross hard stands. Just means they're well-rounded dancers. I see you. This part, this leg kick up thing, I'm, I couldn't even do that. And I've been dancing for 14 years. I, I watch it and I'm like, how the f do they do that? How? And they all do it at the same time and pretty much all have their legs up at the same height. I feel like I, maybe they're just not doing it here, but I feel like it, it they came up more in one of the performance videos I saw. Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> High kicks for days. I like that the circle collapses into rows. It's really hard to do that spacing wise in choreography. I mean, it's Stray Kids. Of course, we knew they were going to pull it off, but it looks really good going from the circle and then flattening it. Um, and they're they're very spatially aware, which is, you know, good. Um, obviously you have to be in K-pop, but I know sometimes in practice videos, it's, it's a little spatially, um, struggling sometimes, but they, you know, they look great. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling. <laughs> Again, elegant but still hip hop. It's really like the little details, like it's, or even like everyone's like, oh, they're hip thrusting. Like it's, it's a gentle, it's not like, <laughs> it's not like blood, sweat and tears y'all, chill. <laughs> but it, it's really good and they work really cohesively together. I am noticing that it is Odd. It does look kind of odd 
with Hyunjin in the front with his right arm up and then three with the right and then three with the left it looks kind of weird to me to ha for him to have his right arm up um I probably would have made another decision like I probably would have either had them all do the same arm or I would have figured something out sound different for Hyunjin who's right in the front but I mean it still looks good it just for me it's like kind of it's kind of odd <laughs> Okay, the standing up part wasn't as cohesive, but when they are on the ground, the sliding, in sync. We stand kings who can move in sync. That's the biggest thing with group dances. You have to be able to move at the same time. It should look like, just like if you play an instrument, it should, like, playing an instrument and dancing are very similar in the fact that when you are playing slash dancing, it should look slash sound like there's only one person on stage. Like, that's how cohesive it should be. It should just be, it should just look or sound like there's just clones of the same um instrument or dancer hmm i wish that movement to the line would have been a little bit faster i hate when they wear baseball caps because i'm blind and the videos are not sometimes that good quality so i can't tell who's who um I think that's Changbin. Hold on. Let me not. Yep. I wish he had moved a little bit faster to the line. Just so they were all like and then started moving out. But because he comes he hits the line when he's supposed to be stepping out. So that that maybe it was just this take that it but, you know, you gotta make sure you hit that mark. You gotta be in the line. Like, and you shouldn't be able to see anyone behind you. Except for Chan and his, like, big shoulders. Because you can see those sticking out behind any of the members. Because all the members are like this. And Chan's just like... This part one of my favorite um sections of any song choreography wise because it's so well executed so memorable and I feel like it's not really some like a, a move that's done often in choreography and I think it looks really good with the song <coughs> yeet the hat yeah <laughs> Just that should have been sharper, but his hair was probably in his eyes. Um, yeah, this the like that all the way down, and then Hyunjin's like quick up. Again, highs and lows. Highs and lows. They balance out. They look really good. The jumps. Stray Kids are, are very good at their jumps. I've noticed throughout many eras in their choreography, when there is a jump, they hit that jump. And they hit it high. So I'm sorry for anyone who tries to learn as who cannot jump for shit. Especially the short people. My little five five and under babies. I'm so sorry. That was a little messy, but that section is really good. They're all moving together. It just sucks that <laughs> Felix and Jogan move out of frame. I like at the end that they, like, after the music's done, they, like, bow. I think that's really cool. Alright.
final thoughts. Um, God's Menu is a masterpiece musically and choreographically. There were quite a few sections that were a little messy, um, but, you know, even... I forget my own dances sometimes too, like stuff I've choreographed or like I've learned like training with like my teachers. So like you're bound to make mistakes in dance. And I think that that's something that we have to get used to allowing idols to do. Like they're gonna be messy sometimes in their dance practices. They're gonna mess up on stage. They're gonna voice crack and that's fine. You know, it's not like it's messy to the point that it looks bad. It's just, you can tell that they're tired, um, you know, Dancing with other people is hard, especially dancing in sync, and they do it so well. Um, like, overall, they're killing it. Choreography is- it's, it's definitely one of their hardest choreographies, and I'm gonna, like, be brutally honest. I don't think if you're a beginner dancer, this is something you should be learning um, past the chorus. Unless you really, really, really feel like challenging yourself, because I feel like- this is another one of those that learning the whole thing is going to hurt your entire body if you're not prepared for it. Um, you know, I've been dancing for 14 years and I learned on in four hours and I could not move, literally could not move the next day. Um, so it's just learn it in moderation. Um, definitely going to say it's probably like a, a nine and a half out of ten out of difficulty. Um but it looks, they look really good doing it. It looks really clean. It's really sharp, but it also has like soft fluid movements. Um, and overall, it's just it's amazing choreography. Is it one of my all time favorite choreographies? Probably not. Is it definitely one to be remembered? Yeah, I the chorus, yeah. I think um, the chorus choreography is very memorable. And then Felix's sections. But I think the rest of it is kind of just like... I think a lot of people don't really recognize the beauty in the rest of it. Which is fine, like, obviously, like, the chorus is what usually gets popular dance-wise. Because um, pe some people don't have the energy to learn the whole thing. And that's usually the chorus is only what's in, like, random dances. Um, like when you like do like random dance um, challenges, so you know. But it's it's a really good piece. Um, it goes the choreography matches the song really well, which sometimes I've noticed that some songs don't. Um, sometimes there's some moves in like certain songs that's just like, why did that get put in there? That doesn't match the the vibe at all like if you're doing like a hard-hitting song like you want it to be more hip-hop if you're doing something like cutesy you want it to be more musical theater um you know but yeah overall loved it love the choreography i love stray kids um if you couldn't already tell by the poster and there's more further down you just can't see them and then i also have the giant stray kids sticker on well, multiple stickers on my laptop. Um, and I have my Hyunjin photo card on my phone. I can't see his face because of my pop socket, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. It was a good, it's good choreography. It's really hard. Um, again, so I would not recommend it if you are a beginner dancer. Um, I'd work up. I can probably, like, make, like, a chart, like, of, like easiest thing because k-pop dances none of them are going to be easy like there's a very slim chance that i will rate anything below a five out of ten um in difficulty but if you want to like learn like a stray kids dance i'd probably say start with like get cool because get cool is pretty easy miro wasn't bad it just had again has jumps um but that i can always do a class on um because i did class before and it was fun um, but yeah, so I'm gonna, next clip is gonna be me doing the, the chorus, probably from Jisung's part, because I really like that and I don't want to cut it out, um, so I'll probably go from there until the end of the chorus, but yeah.
so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm really excited to continue this series. I have three songs that are up for runoff poll right now. Um, there's two BTS songs and a Twice song. I'm not gonna say what they are in here because I want you guys to be surprised. But don't worry, I'm not gonna do like multiple groups. Um, like I'm not gonna do like the same group but multiple songs in a row. I'm gonna try to mix it up. And I'm gonna try to mix it up like try to do boy girl boy girl boy girl. Obviously, it's gonna be like hard if I get like a card dance because they're um a co-ed group. Um, but I want to try to make it pretty even. I don't want to do like more boy groups and girl groups or more girl groups and boy groups. Um, I also don't want to do too many like twice like near each other because a lot of the th critiques that I have about like twice songs, not even critiques, just things I have to say about it. They're all pretty similar. Um, so we'll see. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. This is going to be a, a weekly series, hopefully. Um, follow me on Instagram. Um, follow me on TikTok. It's a, my TikTok and my Instagram are, and even my Snapchat of the, the the same username. It's Mochi Mini with an extra I on Mochi and an extra E on Mini. Um, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Stay hydrated. Stay limber to all you dancers. I don't want to see y'all dancing without stretching. And, you know, just stay positive and do your best to vibe and support all those around you in the crazy world that we're living in right now. Um, and make sure you ate whatever meal that you were supposed to eat at whatever time of day that you're watching this video. But yeah, love you guys so much. Mwah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.